Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas day 15. 10 days to go. Felt your own woodland fox kit. Funny you're absolutely the cleverest person. You <laughs> sounded like a moose. In she goes. Mm, that was a good idea, wasn't it? Today we're doing something a little different. I'm gonna do one of these felt your own woodland fox kit. I've had this since last Christmas. My mum gave me it as a Christmas present and I still haven't made it. So mum, I'm making it now and you're getting it for Christmas. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go. Apparently you get felting yarn, a fox mold and a felting needle in this little kit from Fat Face. Oh, that's the little packet. Look at the little guy. So cute. And these are your instructions. Oh, there's not many instructions. So. Hopefully it's quite easy. You use the little fox mould as your base and then pull off a thin strand and put it over the desired area and start prodding it. And that's what it should look like. Cute. And I'm gonna tilt this down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Basically, you've got your little, it's really, it's like a squidgy sort of, not polystyrene, like foamy. Pull off a little bit. And should we start on the back? Because I think this is all orange. You get two little needles. Ooh, they're sharp. And then you just prod it. Repeatedly stab the wool with the felt needle provided until the felt begins to join and flatten. most of the orange. The ear was so hard to do. And both of my little felting needles have snapped, which is really annoying. And I was trying to use like just a normal sewing needle and it just doesn't work. So I think they need to be like really, really, really fine. Like you can't even see that, that's how fine it is. I don't know what to do because I can't really do it with just like this tiny little Thing. Maybe I'll go on Amazon and see if they have any like felting needles that I can order to finish off. But so far, so cute. It's taken me a couple of hours to do all that though. It's really cute. It looks like it's wearing a little hoodie at the minute. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Let's see if Connor has any ideas. Connor came up with a genius idea to stick it in a in a glue stick, and it works. Connor, you're absolutely the cleverest person. I know. All right, I'm gonna finish the orange and then move on to the white and the back. I've finished the orange. I've even done the little bottom bit. I think I'm gonna maybe neaten it all up at the end. I'm gonna move on to the white now. Although I've got a lot of leftover orange, maybe I'll go and pad him out at the end as well. And this is working an absolute treat. Like it's working better than the first ones. I just need to meet them up a bit. <laughs> what do we think? I think it's super cute. <laughs> Mum, I hope you're excited for Christmas Day. What should we call him? He looks like a Neville to me. Neville? And I have loads of wool left too. So maybe I'll make a little one, a little baby one, maybe just a head as like a Christmas decoration. What are you going to do? <laughs> just made the bunny <laughs> Some dough, everyone. Excuse me. We're about Excuse to. Excuse me, I'm vlogging. <laughs> We're gonna make some tea, and you we had to squat down a little bit. We made pizza dough. The other day, oh, I did. You didn't have anything to do with it, did you? You didn't listen to my plan. Um, and I wanted to make some dough ball with cheese in, like cheesy dough balls, in the shape of a Christmas tree. <laughs> with garlic butter over the top. Yeah. Yeah. And then like a tomato dipping sauce. So that has all the elements of a pizza, but it's a fun little 
All right, hear me out. <laughs> Catches my dribbles. Yeah, I'm hearing you. Make your dough balls. Uh huh. We'll make a tomato sauce. Mm hmm. You want to put it all over the top? Yeah. Make your little Christmas tree shape, and then we'll bake it. Sprinkle cheese on top, and it'll look well. Okay. And then do a garlic butter to dip it. Do a hug. You okay? <laughs> Okay, are you gonna help me? What? Why? <laughs> Make a tomato sauce. Here we go, everyone. <laughs> Christmas tree. Okay, they're semi cooked. Now we're gonna put the toppings on. Little Christmas tree. You try and keep it on the pizza. Chop it off. Sure. I could have just gone for the Italian herb. Oh, let's do that as well. Wow, calm down. In she goes. How long do you think? Set a timer for 10 minutes. <laughs> Get her out. Whee. Would you look at that? It's like a big slice of pizza. Sizzling beauty. Didn't put any ornaments on it. Ornaments. <laughs> oh, that would have been a good idea. Yeah. A little ball oh, of Pepperoni balls. <laughs> oh my god, this looks good. Okay, we're gonna eat this now. I ate the bottom bit. What? I ate the bottom bit. That's good. What do you call it? Is it a stalk? What is it? Trunk. The trunk. That was a good idea, wasn't it? Success. Out of 10? Pretty good. Pretty good out of 10. Mm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Use that as you will. <laughs> right, I'm going to end today here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed making that little fox actually. Um, My back and neck hurt now from <laughs> slouching over and doing it all day but yeah I felt peaceful today which is nice. This evening I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit and watch some telly. Have a nice early night for another day in isolation tomorrow. Fingers crossed I get my results soon. It said two to four days when you posted the things. So that was yesterday so anywhere from tomorrow to in four days time. I should know. But I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye! <laughs>